Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is about uh, how to fine tuning the stable diffusion. So what is the fine tuning? So like for example, we have the stable diffusion model, but uh, like because there's only so many like input they feed it into the stable diffusion, so it uh, will be able to associate uh, some of the prompts uh, into certain characters. However, if, uh, like for example, the dog here is not in the input image, original input image, then the stable diffusion will not able to uh, generate it, right? So how can we like, let stable diffusion recognize the input we wanted. Uh, the method is called uh, fine tuning. So ba we basically like use the base model and uh, feed it some additional training image. So it will able to associate uh, the keyword into the input we wanted. All right, the, so here is one example. So the input image is only four of them. And after a certain amount of training, the stable diffusion become capable of associating the keyword with this uh, little dog. So as you can see on the right side, so you can like, uh, like uh, use different uh, prompt and use your trained uh, keyword, you were able to generate uh, the images together with the keyword. So that's uh, the power of fine tuning. So I will uh, like show you my recent experience uh, with uh, a new method published by Hugging Face Diffuser. It is using, it's called uh, using LoRa to efficiently fine tune stable diffusion. So if you are interested, yeah, please go to their blog so you can take a detailed look. So, so basically it uh, tells you the history, a little bit of background of why LoRa is uh, important. So how it works it will able to uh, tell you a lot of those details. And, uh, and it also provide uh, the, like, the detailed method, so, which I will demonstrate it later. Here is one example the authors uh, like demonstrated. So I think uh, it gives some good idea about the performance of this method. In this directory, I uh, obtained uh, five images for one of the character from uh, anime. Like, uh, so I got those five of them. So they look like uh, this one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and uh, you can see that it has the blonde hair and uh, very big uh, eyes and uh, sweet uh, uh, face. Yeah, so yeah, let's uh, do a quick uh, go through of them. And uh, we were able to teach uh, stable diffusion uh, like uh, about uh, how it uh, lo looks, how to draw it like uh, in the output. So we were able to do that through the fine tuning. All right, so uh, yeah, so the actual fine tuning was using this uh, uh, script. It's from the diffusers library. So I will put the link uh, in my description so you are able to get those. So it's, it's actually very easy. The installation, and uh, how to define <coughs> the name of the model. For example, for this one, you can choose like uh, the model you want. For example, if you want to choose the base model 1.4, 1.5, or even 2.1, it's uh, 
OK, and then you can also choose other custom models like wife diffusion in this case. And uh, next, you will want to provide uh, the directory like where you store your input images. Those are the training images. For this one, I only use the five. You I like uh, ideally you can choose like uh, as many as you want, and uh, you can choose the best uh, quality of them. So. Yeah, make sure that uh, uh, you you like uh, store the directory here, so the script uh, is able to find them. All right, and then the actual training script is is this one. You were able to find that in the diffusers uh, library. All right, and and the follow one I use the all the default ones. And uh, one thing I want to mention is that uh, there's the uh, max train steps so it's like it just will determine like how long your script uh, will gonna run so obviously if you got it uh, too high to make like overfitting so you will like uh, usually want to make it like a media so so in, in here there's a check like a checkpointing steps like 100 so basically like every 100 it will save the train the results so you're able to have the intermediate with like a checkpoint, so, and eventually, uh, I was able to train this one through this script, and uh, I was able to get uh, the the last file here. So as you can see, it's ver like quite a small, like very convenient uh, to use. So I will demo like uh, how I actually uh, use them. All right. So yeah. So I will. Ac Activate my Python environment, and uh, and I'll use the Python console here already. So, and uh, and then I will need to import uh, the stable diffusion pipeline from diffusers. And import the torch. So and and uh, next I will import the base model which uh, uh it was trained on because i used the wife diffusion so i will import it yeah and we will take a look at the gpu monitoring here all yeah so the so next next one is uh, is is a uh, a key I think it's load load of the of the dream booth checkpoint. So as it's very small, it's a local, so I will able will, I can able to load it very easily. And then I will uh, move the model to my GPU which is uh, 6700 XT AMD GPU yeah already I will do that yeah and the way we can see that right here my GPU VRAM has increased uh, to uh, to about uh, 6 gigabytes all right. So next, uh, I will like provide uh, some prompt and a negative prompt, and uh, do some quicker uh, image generating. To prompt, and I provide uh, some negative prompt. And uh, the next step, I will do uh, image generating of it. So um, let's uh, get it going. So let's. Uh, wait for it uh, to be ready and uh, yes and we do generate uh, a beautiful image so let's uh, like open one of our input image and uh, do a comparison i think uh, overall it looks very similar to what the input uh, image is i think uh, we should pay attention to the styling of the hair i think that's very like unique for the input image. I think uh, without uh, like any description, 
and only the keyword, the stable diffusion model is able to generate a uh, like very exact hair. I think that really looks promising. So although like people can get the training script and also the model, but uh, it still requires some decent uh, hardware, some GPU with enough VRAM, and it also requires some adjustment for the parameters, so it's not a free launch. So uh, what I want to do is to help people to train their own fine-tuning embeddings. So I'm right now introduced a uh, like item I put on my shop. So welcome to check it out. So so it's it's only. Uh, the reason that I'm offering this is uh, that I want to help people to train that without uh, worrying about the technical details. And uh, I don't, uh, honestly, I can put it like a zero, like dollars. But uh, I, but if I put it zero dollars, like pe everyone will try it, so it uh, will make uh, make me like uh, really kind of crazy busy and also it will create lots of backlog so I I don't think that will make everyone happy so instead I'm I'm trying to uh, see like uh, if you are really interested yeah yeah please you can go to my shop and uh, purchase this uh, service and I'm happy to work together with you. So I'm assuming that uh, we will need to go back and forth about uh, what model you want to do and uh, your input images and etc. And also I think uh, we will like in close contact. All right, yeah. Yeah, welcome to check it out. Um, and I look forward uh, to working with you. Yeah, so that's all for today. Thank you very much. Goodbye.